Hello everybody, I've got a uh, Dyson DC65 and running into a problem where the uh, small side of the brush head is not spinning. I will turn this on. Head. As you can see, the right side or the left side from the video is spinning, which is the big side, but the little side is not. So I uh, did some research, and it turns out there's a part broken inside the brush head. And uh, what I'm going to do is disassemble it and see if there is a way to fix it or uh, replace the component that is broken. Okay, so I have taken the brush head off of the DC-65, and I am going to disassemble the uh, brush head a little bit. I'm going to pop off this front cover, bottom cover, and now I need a, looks like a Phillips head screwdriver to take off the brushes. Get that off. Set that aside. Take off the other side as well. And there's the other brush head. If you're wondering, I have already cleaned all the there was a lot of hair around uh, both ends of the brush head, so I took the hair off already. All right, so now what's happening is this isn't spinning. See, it's not spinning. So let me, oh, look at that. It looks like it's broken. So let's, uh, let's take a look in there. Right in there, I think this piece is supposed to be one, and it's obviously broken so let's take it up let's uh let me do a little uh research and find out how to take all of this apart and uh we'll continue okay so now i am going to take off a couple of other uh components here um one is this plastic cover which i think uh, forces the dust in. All right, we'll take that away, put that over there. And now there's another screw right here I want to take off. And I think this is holding the motor, the motor that's on the top, on to the plastic frame. Uh, the next part I'm going to remove is this part right here, which is a little Another plastic cover. Looks like it's covering the wires for the motor's power. Okay, before we move on, I I realized I never mentioned what tools I'm using. Um, so basically, I have a Phillips head uh, screwdriver bit, mm. and then I have a T9 uh, Torx and a T. 15 Torx. Uh, I, some of these uh, screws were T9, some were T15, and some were uh, Phillips. Um, I'll try to call it out in the future. All right, so now the next uh, portion. Um, so the next thing I want to do real quick is one thing I noticed is the, this, see, look at that. That's the wrong one. Go to the T9. This piece actually is screwed on to this piece. So this is actually the piece that's broken in there. This is a, another piece that has a screw that screws into this. So I'm going to put that aside and I'm going to put that aside. All right, so now I'm going to try to take the motor off. And actually, look at that, it's actually coming off already. It's quite loose, so I think a little jiggling 
we can get that whole thing off. And um, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to try to separate this because there's a gear, like, a, like an axle limb in here, and it's got gears on it. So I'm going to take this off. But before we do that, we need to take this apart a little bit. This, there we go. So this is just a plastic cover. Comes right off of here. There's the actual motor. And I think there's just one screw right there, which is the T15. There we go. And it's holding this on to the frame underneath the motor. So let me get that guy out. Right there. So when I do that, see, there we go. See, now this frame is no use. I don't know if I can get it through here because I think there's just no physical way. So I think we have to take it apart while it's here. So looks like there's another small torx right here that I'm going to remove. And there are, there's some bigger torques on the outside here. I'm going to switch back to the bigger torques. These guys out. Alright, so now this whole thing should kind of come apart. Here it goes. Alright, so now I can take this apart. I don't know if I can get this out. Maybe. I don't know. I can get it out. But I don't know if I could ever get it back in when the axle thing is replaced. So let me see if maybe we can get away with not actually taking it out, but doing something like that. So what I'm going to do is to pop this. There it goes. All right. So, oh, you know what? We forgot. The other side of this thing is intact. So I am going to unscrew that. With another T9. Ah, this is interesting. So now I can actually hold the gear on the other side to take the screw off. All right. There we go. Look at that. So I got the other one out now. So we've got two of those removed. And I think we're pretty close to the part that is broken. And here we are. Right there. There it is. All right, so this is the broken uh, component. And this was on here and broke off. So what I did was I actually ordered a replacement one of these guys. And here it is. This is the replacement part. Um, it also came with a new uh, belt. And I'm going to probably take a crack at replacing the belt as well. Even though the belt here is not broken, it's probably a good idea to put a new one. I don't think there's any reason to continue to use the old belt if we have a brand new one. So let me get that guy in there. Took off the old belt. I'm going to put the new end up. Turn it around so you can see. I'm going to put the belt around the motor's side of the gears, right here, like that. And then on this side, we should be able to pull it around and kind of go around all the stuff that's in there, and there we go. So now it's in there, in there like that, okay? <clears throat> and what I'm going to do next is I am going to make sure that I put the new gear in the same direction uh, as the old gear because it's not... Uh, it's not, it's symmetric, except there's like a lip on this side. And now we know that the non-broken side was over here. So we're going to make sure that the non-broken side, which has the lip, actually goes in through that side. So I'm going to kind of do my best here to try to get this. And this is going to be the hardest part because I don't know 
when I took it out, there was no piece. And let me see if I can get it in there. I hopefully we can. Almost. There we go. All right. Almost in. All right. Looks like we lost a little wheel, but we'll put that back on after. All right. There we go. Now I have to put the new belt around the new uh, the new uh, gear. That's going to be an interesting uh, thing to do here. Let me pop it out a little bit so it's a little loose. Wow, this is tight. Um, all right, let me let me let me take a look at it and see if I can uh, come up with a oh 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 baby, I got it. There we go. I got it. Yeah. Awesome. All right, so now we've got the new gear, and we've got the new belt, and we should kind of fit it right back through here like that, and then on the other side, I have to do the same kind of thing. Okay. Oh, look at that. There was another uh, uh, bearing. The bearing from... Where's the old one? From the old one, there was a bearing. Oops. There was a bearing right here that fell off. It was stuck in there. So that was one of the reasons it wasn't closing. So now we got the bearing re uh, removed. Everything in there is new. Let's see. There we go. And I spin it. It's got the... Uh, spinning the... Uh, belt. I know you can't see it, but neither can I, but I can feel it. Uh, I think we've got this pretty well put together. It's looking good. Let's... All right, it looks good, but now I have to make sure I put this little wheel back, so I have to loosen it again and slide the wheel through that little axle. Slide. There we go. All right, I think I got it now. There we go. It's all back together. So now the new gear is in there. Um, thing is closed. Let me put the screws back that hold this together so it doesn't come back apart again. And the screws for that were two T15s on the outside. Okay, and one small little T9 on the bottom. Switch to the T9. I think it was on the right here. Okay, there we go. So now we've got this stand. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm spinning that end and the whole thing is spinning around. So now we can put these things back on. So I'll put one, they're identical. Or at least they seem to be identical. So I'm going to assume they are. I think they were both placed on, well, that's not the right screw. Maybe it is the right screw. It is the right screw. Yeah. Oh my god. Forget it. The screw's in there. No wonder I couldn't find the screw. <laughs> Alright, this must be that must be for the other side. Alright. Uh, and the interesting thing is here, now that now there's a I can hold the other end tight, and that's how I can actually screw it in nice and tight. So there it is. Alright, so now we're gonna turn this around and we're gonna put it on the other side. And we put the screw inside. So the screw is in there. We do the same thing. I'm going to stick it over this. And I am going to use the T9 again. Tighten this guy. And again, I can hold the other end to hold it tight. There we go. It is in. 
And really now we're basically reassembling everything. Um, there was a screw. top here that was holding the frame on. I've got that screw. I think it's the other one. This one. They're all very similar screws. I don't know. There may be a tiny little length difference, but I think they're pretty much the same. All right. So there we go. So now that's all put back together. And now we are going to fit this guy back on to the big plastic uh, brush head frame. And we're going to do something with the wire as well, because there's a wire here that needs to uh, this direction that needs to. Um, so when you move, when you move your motor, uh, your brush, this thing goes back and forth. And that's why this wire has got some leeway here. So what it does is it goes into this little slot here all right like that and it leaves the leeway for the wire to go back and forth like that like that and it doesn't uh, pull on all right so now i think the next step is to start putting all this stuff back together so i think the first thing the next thing is to put this cover over the top of everything, which gets screwed in. There's some screws here that, that get screwed in through the bottom. And I'll put this here. And it goes right in there, like that. There we go. Turn it back upside down. And I think some of these uh, screws are dual purpose in that they hold this little... Uh, shield thing on and hold the bottom plastic uh, brush frame to that motor portion. So I am going to stick this right back in here where it was. Now most of the screws are kind of left in there. Looks like one might have fallen out. Maybe this is it right here. So these are all uh, T15 screws. So we'll start by screwing them in. The next one is over here. And the next one is right here. And then the shortest screw was the one that was at the bottom here. So I'll put that screw back in place. All right. Next is this other little plastic cover, which covers the wire that moves around, as we talked about already. Let me put that guy back. Again, there's some T15 screws that hold this on. There we go. Next is the brushes. So, well, these are Phillips heads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of get them in there like that, push them into place, and switch to the Phillips head. And get them correctly uh, positioned, and screw them in the Phillips head. Let's get the big brush. Put it on the other side. And there's two screws. To do the same thing. Kind of spin it into place. Now this is not entirely symmetric. There's one side that's kind of longer, and that's why it wasn't going in. So now there, it's in right in place now. Put some Phillips head screws. Screw these in with the Phillips head. Put 
the last Phillips head back in. Alright, now we are going to take this cover, snap it back into place, clap those closed, and we are done. So now I'm going to go put it back on the on the uh, DC-65 and we'll see how it goes. All right, so here we are. The moment of truth. Turn this guy on, lowering that, and turning on the motor. Look at that, they're both spinning. Awesome. You see them? All right, so there you go. Uh, gear replacement uh, to fix the broken um, brush head uh, axle. Uh, the only the only thing to keep in mind is I, well, I found the part. It was pretty difficult to find. I did find it on eBay. There was a, uh, a, uh, a, a, a seller that was selling these parts. And I contacted them, and I think it was $35, but which is way cheaper than buying a whole new brush head. So, and thank you very much.